Hello, and welcome to this video where we will be downloading LaTeX. LaTeX is a really beautiful typesetting system, and it's really the standard that we use for mathematical papers. You can find information about LaTeX at latex-project.org. And if we scroll down a little bit, if you'd like to read a little bit more about the product, you can take a look at the introduction. We're going to go ahead and click Getting LaTeX. And on this page, let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit. And from here, we need to make a choice on which distributor to use for the platform that we're working on. My computer is a Windows computer, so I have three choices. I have MicTech, ProTex, or TechLive. I'm going to go ahead and click the first one, which is MicTech. This should take us directly to MicTech.org. And we're going to come up here to where it says Download. And under the Windows tab, I'm going to click Download. Let's go ahead and save this installer to our downloads. And when we're ready, we can click the bottom left corner here to get MicTech started up. Once the installer is open, we do have to accept the copying conditions for MicTech. Feel free to read through these conditions if you would like, and then click Next when you are ready. We're going to go ahead and install MicTech only for our personal computer, so let's take the uppermost bullet and click Next. This will tell us where MicTech is going to be installed. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And sometimes what we're going to have to do is install packages when we're working with the kind of tech environment. Sometimes it's useful to be able to just install these packages on the fly. So in this drop down menu, we can change from ask me first to yes. And then I'm going to click the next button. Okay, finally, let's click start. And now we sit back and relax while we allow MicTech to be installed on our device. Once the installation is complete, we're going to be prompted with the next button. So let's go ahead and click that. And finally, the last step is going to be to check for updates. So let's go ahead and click Next and allow MicTech to check for updates. On the final screen here, let's deselect Tell Me More. And finally, we will close to exit the wizard. Once the installation wizard is closed, let's go ahead and just use the Start menu. And we're going to scroll down to the M's and we're going to ensure that MicTech has indeed been installed. And as always, if you appreciated the information here, then feel free to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below.